Travis Campbell here of actasap.net and I'm glad you're watching this video. Today we're going to talk about the challenge, really uh, somewhat of a surprising challenge for Android users, either uh, Android based uh, smartphones or Android based tablets when it comes to synchronizing your Outlook data with your device. I have a special guest today on the line who has an interesting product line and is going to make a special offer toward the end of this video so you're going to want to stay tuned for that. Um, and I'd like to introduce to you Rashong from CompanionLink. Rashong, give a big shout out and uh, speak loud and clear and tell us where you're uh, dialing in from. Hey Travis, thanks for having us. Uh, this is Rashong. I'm calling on behalf of CompanionLink Software and we're calling from Portland, Oregon today. What's your role up there, CompanionLink? How are you helping out? Uh, my role here is Director of Marketing and, and we, we have the task of understanding where the mobile industry is going, where the business gaps are, and how we can select those. Excellent. And you guys have been uh, around for more than a couple of weeks. T tell a little bit about your history of CompanionLink. We are one of the oldest startups. We've been around for about 18 years, and uh, we've seen the mobile evolution from the first Palm Pilot PDA all the way to the latest 3D Android device that just came out a week ago. How many phones over the 18 years do you think, how many how many phones and smart smartphones have you supported over all those years, would you guess? Oh. Good question, and I just don't know. Multiple, like, multiple hundreds, wouldn't you say? Hundreds, and and to give you a peek into that, in our headquarters here, we buy a new device. I'd say once every two weeks. Well, I don't know about uh, about you, uh, those that are watching this video or listening to the audio, uh, and if you're watching this over at actasap.net, um, you'll see the some of the notes from the video. If you're watching it on YouTube, there's a link just below in the description. Uh, but if you're anything like me, when I got an Android device, I was caught a little bit off guard when it came to, you know, identifying a way to synchronize Outlook data with, with that device. Yeah, the, a lot of people are scratching their heads, or less scratching their heads when they get home. They go to the store, the carrier store, get this great device for 200 300 bucks, go home, open the box, and, and in the old days, they're used to seeing a CD or, or some software in there that synchronizes Outlook to their new device. But with an Android device, there's no such CD. There's no such software. With, now keep in mind, with an iPhone, there's free software called iTunes that synchronizes Outlook to your iPhone. But with Android, they're just left scratching their heads. So a lot of people come to us and say, Companionlink, can you guys help me get this Outlook data, years worth of data, contact and calendar that I've maintained, and even notes and memos. Um, can you help me get this data onto this new phone that I got, which is actually a very powerful tool. Right, right, and you guys have been working with Outlook Sync for probably 12 to 15 years as well, right? We go all the way back to Outlook, uh, uh, Outlook 97, actually. 97, yeah, the good old days with Clippy running around on the screen. With Clippy, yeah. I remember that. And CompanionLink gives them a couple of options. Um, you can always think using the traditional wired USB method where you dock your Android phone to the PC. Right. Click the synchronization button. Um, that will transfer data securely over the USB cable. That's method one. Method two is a, a new method that we have called local Wi-Fi sync. That uses your home or office Wi-Fi network to transfer data between Outlook and your phone, and that's a direct sync. There's no built-in call. Uh, option three is to work with what comes built in on the Android phone, which is strong, tight integration between a Google account and the phone. So in option three, companion link will synchronize your Outlook data to your Google account that's in the cloud, your Gmail account. Right. And, and, and the built-in feature on the Android phone is that any data in the Gmail account will automatically sync to the phone. So that's, a, that's, that's from an end user's perspective, it's a one-step, it's really a one-step process, but there's two components to that process. Data goes from Outlook to Gmail and Gmail to your phone, and that, that works two ways. Um, the fourth method is a direct wireless subscription-based synchronization service. So what that means is Data goes from Outlook directly to your phone, regardless of whether you're in the office or outside the office. And that, 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 there's, a, there's a monthly fee on that. It's $9.95. But what that guarantees you is that there's no middlemen like Gmail. A lot of people are averse to having their data hosted in the cloud um, because of various regulations and whatnot. So the last method gives you end-to-end -end sync, regardless of where you are, uh, for a monthly fee. So am I safe to assume that, the, quite honestly, the last one excites me the most. If I have a PC with Outlook on it, I can have your software running with this with this monthly service that you just mentioned. Uh, the PC is on, and it's synchronizing with Outlook at regular intervals, whether I'm entering data on the device itself 
a client site or if uh, you know I'm I have an admin that's you know updating the address book or what have you in Outlook or the calendar um, that would then synchronize wirelessly out to me in the field correct you got it, it it's a it's a real-time process and the interval you can set the intervals I believe the shortest interval is 15 minutes now is any of that data stored like with your servers or anything like that so that it's it's kind of stores up or is it just uh, at the individual devices. No, no data is stored, and that's, that's one of the strategic calculations we made is a lot of people, they want to go direct between Outlook and their phone, and a lot of people are averse to having a third party host their data, which is the whole reason why they don't want to go through Gmail. Right. We, we don't store your data. We just mediate the transfer of information. Excellent. Well, for, if you're like I was, a little caught off guard, uh, when you realize there weren't many, op- there's no option out of the box with an Android, at least to date now, to synchronize uh, without. So if you're surprised like I was, um, I'm happy to, to introduce you to Rashong and his company and Companion Link and what they're doing. Now, we said at the outset you had something that you wanted to extend as a special offer for folks that are listening to this video uh, or watching this video or listening to the audio uh, and that are subscribers and readers to actasap.net. Did you want to go ahead and share that now, Rashong? Yeah, absolutely. Travis, we've worked with you for a very long time, and we have a lot of faith in that relationship. So we'd like to offer $10 off for everyone who purchases before September 1st of 2011 uh, to all your readers. And, and Travis, I'm sure you'll, you'll give your audience a code. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll, we've got it flashing right on the screen now. It's also in the the uh, post over at activesap.net as well as the description uh, below this video. And after that $10, $10 is it $10 or 10%? $10. $10. Then after that, we uh, there there's they can use a code as well uh, for five dollars off. Correct. 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 The five dollars will always apply even after this summer promo. Yeah. Awesome. Well, hey, I appreciate you offering that to uh, the, our loyal subscribers and readers. I'm sure they appreciate it as well. And I'd encourage you to take Rashawn Companion Link up on their offer now. If you're like me, you know that one part of buying software is the cost of the software and the time to learn it, what have you. Um, but there's a support aspect. Uh, Rashawn, tell me what you guys are doing to help people that need help getting it either set up or troubleshooting or what have you. Well, we've always offered free phone and email support, and that we've, we've learned is, is just mandatory. We live in a very complex technology space where mobile devices change every week. So give us a call if you ever run into trouble. Uh, we, have, we have a phone number. We'll pick up the phone and take care of you. Uh, we also offer paid support options where our technicians will log into your PC securely and set up everything for you. That's a paid option, but that, that, that is available to you. you All right. Well, my name is Travis Campbell of actasap.net, speaking to you live here from Westminster, Colorado, just outside of Denver on a sunny summer day. And I'm speaking with my distinguished guest, Rushong from Companion Link. And again, you're dialing in from where? We're calling from Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching this video or listening to this audio. And I look forward to speaking with you again real soon on the web.